Hi, this is Suze Eleven Tarot. I'm going to do a uh, all singles reading for, um, let's see how I'm going to approach this. Okay, so I have these cards. Okay, so they're from uh, the uh, Uno game, I think. Cat in the Hat. Okay, so I'm going to try to do a reading from these. And what we're going to do is all sign singles. And what your new person uh, might be like. And they're going to be based on perhaps uh, a little bit of this and that. And, um, and uh, okay, so qualities of different characters from the story. And, um, and also, uh, yeah, so it's like kind of like what to look out for. Because, um... We're going to try and see if we can find any kind of personality types or characteristics uh, for your future uh, potential uh, person. Now, okay, so we're going to start with Aries. Okay, so. Okay, so what is Aries' future potential person? Okay. Um, we're looking for characteristics and personality. Okay, so see what happens okay <laughs> if I could turn it down a little bit here there we go. Okay. All right. Okay. And I wrote down also personality types of these characters because I don't remember any of these stories. And some of the things, um, I, I went and watched some of the videos. Okay. Let's see. Okay. And then we have this. Okay. So let me see here. Okay, so the first thing I'm picking up here is actually progression, right? We're going from one, two, five, six, and seven. So I feel like things are beginning to improve, Aries, for you. Okay, so um, I feel like you're reaching for the stars and, and all of the above, right? Okay, so I feel like this is you and your unity energy. Okay, and I feel like, um, okay, so I feel like a sense of humor is what gets you through a lot of things, okay, and, and helps you to persevere, okay, so, and what's interesting is you have uh, thing one and thing two, okay, so I feel like um, whoever you might be looking at or coming into the future uh, okay so I feel like it's a match okay for some of you this might be an air sign like a Gemini is what I'm picking up okay so air sign or Gemini right or someone who's a uh, identical match perhaps um, the only thing that um, that really is different, I think, from these two characters is the the patch on their uh, on their chest. Okay, that gives them a different identity. So that's what I'm picking up. Someone who is um, in that unity energy. So um, that could be like what Aquarius. Okay, or you could have that even in your chart. Okay, so it could be like humanitarian energy. Um, okay, so I feel like, uh, whoever, I feel like you're more sensitive than you let people, uh, know about you. Okay. So I feel like, uh, in a lot of ways, people feel like you have this really tough exterior, but you really do have a tender side. Okay. And... 
Okay, so here's the heart, star, and the moon. Okay, so I feel like what that's saying is aligning those aspects of you, right? It's like aligning the mind, the heart, and uh, your emotions um, will bring you into this success here. Okay, and what I'm picking up as these hats are um, stacks of like layers of things that you feel like you you have to do okay so and what's interesting is okay so it's like here you are I feel like way over here right okay and you you're like okay if I do all these things um, I would be deserving or I would have a have this as a reward your person okay so I feel like whoever this person that you're coming into um, has an open heart, um, a loving heart is what I want to say. Okay. And loves music. Okay. And I feel like going to uh, have some of the same interests in music. And, uh, okay. And I feel like here, uh, what's kept you away from this person in the past. Okay. So do you know this person, right? Hmm. Are we talking about past life here? Okay. So that's kind of hazy. Okay, so now I'm getting that song, uh, it's a rap song, and it's like hazy and gazy, if in, it's like the lyric is something like, um, other girls look in my eye, your eyes, and are too, um, too gazy. Okay, so I feel like... You might be looking for someone who is sensible and and uh, realistic in ways around uh, love. I feel realistic around love is what I'm picking up there. Okay, now okay, so you have. Six Lorax and Horton. Okay, so I feel like this represents someone who might be uh, spiritual. Okay. Or uh, religious. Okay, now let me see. I have these cards that I wrote down their personality types, each one. Okay, what I picked up. Okay, after. Let's see. Okay, so I feel like this actually is spiritual, plus I was picking up like uh, hermit type energy. Okay, so what does that mean? Okay, um, so that could be a Pisces. If you're looking at here, water, right? So it could be a Pisces, and if you're looking at Earth, it could be... Uh, could be Taurus actually that's interesting Taurus okay so Taurus the Pisces um, and um, Virgo okay now I feel like it's someone who's selfless who's coming to an end of a cycle and so this would be like a perfect time for you to come together with this person Okay, and yeah, it's someone who's like in that Empress energy, so I feel like maybe Taurus or Virgo, um, Pisces, um, okay, so maybe another Scorpio, okay. 
So what does that mean? Okay, so don't rule out anything uh, that you might have tried before and didn't like. Okay, that's what that message is there. Okay. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, I'm picking up Gemini again. Okay, so... Gemini and Mercury. So that's communication. Okay. So that's important. And then what's... Um, what was Lorax? I forgot. Okay. Um... Okay, so we're still on Horton. Okay, so Horton, uh, I, I, let's see, is compassionate, kind, and wise. Okay, is a giver. Okay, um, experimental, like as in willing to try different things, mm -hmm. I feel like. Okay, so uh, I was also picking up Aquarius energy b with this because of humanitarian. Okay. Uh, but that could be Taurus, too. Okay. And uh, someone who's aware of themselves and uh, is resourceful. It's like could tap into, could, could find the well in a desert type person. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Okay. All right. So let's go to the Lorax, number six. Okay. Now, what did I write down for Lorax? I don't remember. Okay, so someone who has a strong con constitution. Okay, that I picked up from the eyebrows. Okay, and mustache. Okay, so again, it's, it's feel like it's going into like spiritualism and uh, the meaning of like, for example, someone who might have meaning for like a beard or um, a mustache. I'm picking up maybe fatherly kind of energy for some. Okay. Okay, so again, I wrote down Aquarius for this one. Okay. And. Okay, so um, like I got caveman. So cave. Okay, so cave is like, um, again, spiritual. A lot of the monks and things, right? They go to caves when they, um, or this could be you too, um, to kind of uh, find themselves and, and um, connect, right, with spirit or nature sometimes. Okay. And, oh, I know why I wrote down... Um, here I wrote down uh, the mind uh, this character's mind is bigger than the heart so I wrote down Aquarius because I was thinking like okay so it's it might be someone who's airy who thinks a lot okay and the question mark is is the heart uh, is the heart bigger than the mind or is it aligned <laughs> what Okay, all right, so some of you might get more meaning out of this if you if you know these stories, okay, uh, if you have kids and you've read them with your kids or something, okay, now, okay, so that's what I'm getting, Aries, okay, anything else? Okay, so, yeah, I feel like it could be a water sign here, and I with the water sign, I feel like you would have fast movement. Things would move fast too. So, um, that's interesting. It's that water and fire combo again. It's like tempering that water and fire and then learning that through relationship. That's what I'm picking up. Okay. Hmm. All right.
Okay, so I feel like before you even do this, I feel like, um, okay, so it's like check into your subconscious mind and look into your mind because when this person shows up, you want to be ready. Okay, so it's like take a look into that and find anything that could perhaps, since you have air energy here, what is in your mind that could prevent you from moving forward here? That's what I would ask or look into your subconscious. Okay, anything else? Okay, so the five is the Hierophant, right? I think in the deck. Okay, so... Um, so this is this connection I feel like uh could go into um something more serious. Okay. So I feel like the message here is get ready. Okay. And some of you will get recognition. And I'm getting that here with the star and the the trophy here. Okay. Some of you may feel like you're so lucky that you have a um Okay, so beyond your expectations is what I'm picking up there. This person is beyond your expectations, even more. That's what I'm picking up. Okay, Aries, I leave you with that. Thank you. Okay, now we're on Taurus Singles. Okay, uh, we're looking into potential personality or... Um, kind of person you might encounter for a future partnership okay so that's what we're trying to um, pick up here Okay, so Aries got this, so there might be some sort of um, cusping energy. Okay. You're really cute. All right, now, let's see. Let me get my personality cards I wrote down. Okay, so it's like here I feel like um, you've come to the end of a cycle. Okay, you closed one chapter and it's like you've got a question mark on who your person is in the future. Okay, so I feel like with all the different rainbow, the rays of light here, I feel like you're willing to um, try new things. And uh, explore places that you haven't before in relationship. Okay. Now, um, the thing that you want to watch out for probably is to, um, as you're reaching for those uh, big shifts or big, uh, maybe big's not the word, um, new and unique places. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what you want to do is be aware of self as you're moving along in the relationship. So you don't, um, for some of you, uh, if it's, if it challenges your stability in any way, I feel like you'd be running for the hill. So you want to kind of set the pace and, uh, go in a steady manner. Okay. So if you go real fast, then just get ready to keep moving forward and push through, right? Okay, that's what I'm getting there. Okay. And, um, okay, so I'm picking up uh, either you or um, 
the person you're coming into is like, um, so if four would be what emperor energy, right? Okay, so, um, but I feel like what this message is is that you've tuned in to your inner compass, you've reached a new beauty, a level of beauty within yourself, and um, and I feel like you're ready for your match. Okay feel like you're compassionate and loving and you want someone who is the same okay we can't always uh, we, we can wish but it's a lot of times when we attract partners they're not always <laughs> the same right okay just keeping that in mind okay and lovers okay so that could be a Gemini Okay, for some of you, this could be that past person that you've kind of left alone for a while, might come back. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so some of you are willing to even try, um, uh, like, be fluid in trying different things. Okay, partners. Okay. All right, and... You want someone who's loyal, maybe a little bit earthy also. I feel like stable. Ooh, justice and strength, right? Sometimes, okay. So I feel like this next phase, you feel like you need more strength, okay. Feel like you have it but I feel like what you're looking for then would be someone who is strong like a shoulder to lean on when you need it right someone that's gonna be there for you who is compassionate who has like tender loving eyes okay See anything else? Okay. Someone I feel like who is also successful, if not in monetary, but um. In their own energy successful in some kind of way okay uh, so it might be someone who's accomplished someone who understands cause and effect right and um, and also has a giving nature I'm picking up I feel like this is this has success written over all over it whoever this is with this eight number I feel like it's lucky lucky in love okay that's what I'm getting some of you might have um, in the past pursued someone who had like status or material um, not that you didn't have it, but I feel like that it could have been subconscious. Okay. And, um, and so if that was the case, that relationship probably didn't work out. Okay. So I feel like through that experience, now you're able to be more open-minded and, uh, go towards, um, It's like it go towards people even if they don't mark off all the the uh, hundred checks that you, that you need in each box. Okay, something like that. Okay. I 
I feel like you're going to be really uh, sexually attracted to this person. Okay. And so what you want to do is balance out kind of that fire and earth energy. Okay. So. Who is it going to be? I don't know if you can hear that's Twinkie snoring. <laughs> Okay, so I'll, okay, so Lorax, that character, okay, uh, speaks to trees, right? Okay, and protects nature. So you might be into someone who is like into activism or something like that, or this could be you uh, living in an area around people where they're doing um, some sort of protest oh that could be um canada okay so um but i feel like whoever it is i feel like you're a humanitarian type too you care about people you love people and sometimes you may not <laughs> but um but i feel like whoever this is um for some, someone is someone who's into uh, helping the environment or trees or might be like a tree hugger type, something like that. Okay. Might be someone older. Okay. So, might be air sign, we already said. Okay. And... Okay, so that character was in the cave, what, 53 years? So maybe someone around 53? Okay, for someone. Okay. All right. Um, might be someone who is spiritual and has abundant way of thinking, and that turns you on. Okay. Anything else? Okay, so some some uh, someone might be uh, the name Joe. Might be a Scorpio, but I feel like this would be your energy if th something happened, and uh, I feel like this is your energy. But uh, it could be a water sign. Okay, and crows. Let's see, might mean something to some. I'm getting magpie. Um, okay, so. Yeah, this, I'm feeling past person for somebody, okay. And someone who's flexible, okay, someone who might uh, sew or knit even, I'm getting. Okay, someone who is a scientist who studies string theory. Someone who has a dog. Someone who thinks outside the box. This could be you. <laughs> Someone who's very, um, in, I would say intelligent, connected, right? Because people who are connected are connected to the infinite intelligence. So I'm getting that. It's going to be someone you feel really connected with right away, I feel like. Okay. For some of you, this is someone you're going to go to either buy.